to Holy Family Cathedral in downtown Tulsa. Holy Family is a Roman Catholic church, part of the Diocese of Tulsa. It was built in 1914. This is a video tour of the inside part of the cathedral. If we go in through the front doors of the cathedral, immediately to our right is a series of plaques. Upon those plaques are the names of the bishops of this part of the world, starting with Bishop Theophile Mearshart, who was Bishop of Indian Territory from 1891 to 1924. On the opposite wall is a series of plaques that shows the names of all of the priests who have served in Holy Family Parish right up to the present. If we look at the interior architecture of the cathedral, we see that the overall shape of the church is that of a cross. We call this kind of church a cruciform church. If we imagine the part of the church where the people sit, the nave being the trunk of the cross, if we look up at the far end of the church, we see the curved wall that houses the high altar. That is called the apse of the church. The middle part of the church that reminds us of the arms of the cross is known as the transepts of the church. The apse, the transepts, and the nave make up the major parts of any cruciform church. When we further look around Holy Family, we see an extensive use of the Gothic arch. A Gothic arch is an arch that has a small point at the top. In this way, it can be differentiated from a Romanesque arch, which is rounded at the top. Gothic arches allow for larger stained glass windows and larger interior areas. We see Gothic arches over all of the windows, they support the side walls, and they make up the vaults over our heads. If we look up at the stained glass windows high up in the church in the clerestory, a row of windows that runs all the way around the perimeter of the church, we see several popular Catholic saints. For example, in the apse of the church, just over the high altar, we see St. Peter. St. Peter is depicted holding a pair of keys. This comes from a quote from Matthew's Gospel, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. St. Patrick of Ireland is another saint featured in the clerestory. He's holding a shamrock, and he's dressed as a bishop, because he was the first bishop of Ireland. We see St. Catherine of Alexandria standing in front of a St. Catherine's wheel. She's also holding a palm branch, which signifies that she was a martyr. She died for the faith. Holy Family is known for its stained glass windows. The windows in the cathedral show events in the life of Jesus and that in the early church. Here in the nativity window, we see a window with many figures in it. There's Christ Jesus, newborn, sitting on his mother's lap, with Joseph watching over her shoulder. We see shepherds on the right, the three wise men gathered to their left, and then King Herod over on the left panel. The story in the windows continues with the Holy Family at work, the wedding feast at Cana, Judas's betrayal of Jesus, and the crucifixion. The resurrection continues on the south side, followed by Doubting Thomas, Jesus giving the keys to the kingdom to Peter, the ascension, and finally Pentecost or the descent of the Holy Spirit. Around the outer wall of the nave we see the Stations of the Cross. Jesus is condemned to death. Jesus receives the cross. Jesus falls the first time. Jesus meets his mother. 
Simon of Cyrene carries the cross. Veronica wipes Jesus' face with her veil. The second fall. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. The third fall. Jesus is stripped of his garments. The crucifixion. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus' body is removed from the cross. And finally, Jesus is lain in the tomb. In the sanctuary, we see the altars, the ambo, or pulpit, and several of the chairs. The chair of the bishop is the cathedra. In fact, that is where Holy Family Cathedral gets its name. It is named a cathedral because it contains a cathedra, the chair of the bishop. The presider's chair looks like a smaller version of the cathedra. It is where the priests who serve Holy Family sit when they preside at Mass. If we look into the apse of the church, we see the high altar. The high altar is one of the largest altars of its kind in the United States. It's made of a material that looks like marble. It's called by the Italians scagliola. It's made of a material that is quarried in Egypt. It's ground into a powder and mixed with something like plaster of Paris. It's molded into the 50 foot tall altar that you see. At the base of the altar, is a bas-relief sculpture of the Last Supper, the famous painting by Leonardo da Vinci. Around the sides of the altar are several statues of angels. In the middle of the altar is Jesus crucified. The tabernacle is located in the heart of the altar. It is behind and within the tabernacle that the Blessed Sacrament, the Eucharist, is reserved.